As you can see in the um on the title, I am telling y'all about my first wax. Really, I'm gonna try to see how this works because I'm recording this actually really late. Um, the videos and the clips that I'm gonna throw in that was actually um it's actually been a month in like two days since I got my last wax and she is looking good. So I thought, you know, I don't gotta just, you know, I'll just make the video anyway, even though I'm like, I'm gonna just make the video. So, y'all, I went and got my first wax, like, a month ago. I'm going to throw the clip in. I got it at European Wax Center. Very nice establishment. I recommend them. And very affordable. Well, at least for your first time. So, um, I went there. I called them ahead of time. You know, just to ask my questions and things like that. Um, went in there. Everything was very professional and nice. They were very nice and welcoming to me as they should be customer service. So like normal, they walk you back to the room. Everything is cute and clean. Looks like a massage uh, parlor, to be honest, by the way they got the table. But I do want to know, the girl who did um, my wax, she really made me feel so comfortable. Like, I really recommend her. Actually, she made the process a lot better because I was really scared. <laughs> I was scared because all my homegirls and everybody was like, girl, does she hurt? That's really why I waited so long because I could just shave myself. I've always shaved. I just get the job done. Why pay when you could do it yourself? But after my wax, those days are over. I'll be getting wax from now on. It's just easier and it's really much more smooth. So let me tell y'all how we go. So Okay, so we are here. I'm looking a little oily. I don't know if it's my car light or my highlight. But we are here. I'm so nervous. So uh, let's go get this Brazilian wax. I'm hella scared. This is gonna be a journey. Oh my god, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, here we are. They said I can't record, so I'm gonna try to sneak and record. They said something about a policy. Girl, please. So I don't know why I haven't been coming to get a wax. I should be ashamed. I get you butterfly, yeah. What's that? Baby powder? Mm -hmm. Okay. My friend did tell me about that part. Because we sweat. You know, okay, true. Because, you know, we sweat down here. Oh, that's so smart, so y'all don't got to spill. Well, no, I'm not even listening to that. It just helps soak up the moisture. Oh, okay. Because we're sweating and I go to put wax on Yeah, it'll you know, be like a bad water. situation, don't, yeah. Don't go together. So, right, true. Yeah. I definitely commend you in your <laughs> area of work. It's nothing. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and you get used to it. Yeah, I'll yeah, be getting you know. used to it. I'm not trying to be childish. Oh, no. You but, don't. girl, this is a different feeling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. Trying to have sex for 24 hours. Really? Yeah, girl. Girl. <laughs> your pores is open. I was that trying to do sweat. something tonight. No. But if you don't clean her off, she will get little red itchy bumps and it will itch like you shaved. <laughs> Girl, that was rough. Oh, you ain't feel nothing, you feel lips. Oh. <laughs> do you guys ever do any designs? Um, we'll do a landing strip or a triangle. That's about as far as you can get. Oh. All right, you ready? Uh huh. You're doing great. That was it. Girl. I told you, you ain't feel nothing, you felt them lips, honey. 
that's a whole different kind of like oh bitch no <laughs> yes for real I wanted to say some cuss words to you girl go ahead <laughs> cause when I get mine when I drop the F-bomb like, <laughs> my wife would be like Cameron I'm like look either I cuss or I kick okay. right for real I get you a relaxed this Girl, the lips are no joke. The lips are not a joke. Mm -hmm. Very intense. Really, none of this <laughs> is a joke. It is painful. <laughs> but it'll be pretty. I think you like Kim. Oh, I see why y'all got the urn on, girl. I am sweating. sweating. I think I am so nervous. Hands. Your butt gonna start to sweat. All right, you ready? Yeah. Doing great. I'm gonna get my strip. And that was it, mama. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you videotaping your reaction. I am. I'm a YouTuber. Okay. I know you guys said no, but come on. I couldn't leave this out. Well, I'm not kidding you. Know, you. If that gets out and they can see that it's their establishment, they will sue you. <gasps> they had an incident where this guy videotaped getting his underarm done. Uh -huh. And they got on World Star. And, you know, everybody was making rude comments. You know how people are. So, they came so out I'll cut the, there. So, you know, she's sitting there talking to me, as you'll see in the clip. And I did not know because I'm looking like I felt her putting a wax on, but I'm looking like where is the strips at? Like where the strips, you know, like when you get your eyebrows done, they put the hot wax on there, then they put the strip and then they like pull it off. But there is no strip. Basically, what they do is is black wax. I know it looks gross. It looks gross. But it's black wax. They put it on there. And as soon as it get hard, then they pull it off. Y'all. It really do hurt. Like, I cannot even... Don't be scared to the point where you cannot get it. Because if you have tattoos or piercings, obviously pain is a little bit bearable to you. But if you haven't, I still think you can take it. But I'm not going to fake the front. It hurts. It really do. What really hurts most is the lips. I'm, no joke. Mm. It, it's like it's bringing flashbacks. My kitty can't like, ooh. Okay, but anyway, anyway, anyway. So they put the wax on there. She talking to me, keeping everything so breezy, just so easy going and flowing. I'm not really, um, you know, knowing when she finna rip her or anything. That's what I did like. It's not like she was like, okay, I'm about to rip. She would be like, okay, you prepare. It'll be fine. Anything, regardless. Put the wax on there. As soon as it get hard, then that's when they strip it. And it does look gross. On the um, wax, it's like black with your hair on there. And like a funny shape, however the shape is, whatever. And then they just toss it. It's easy for them. I could see why they do it that way. I actually think I prefer that than the strips. Because I don't know, for some reason, I feel like the strips will hurt too. Or maybe even more. But anyway, if you get your eyebrows done and you're thinking like, oh, I could take this. I know how this feel. All of this and all of this. No, baby girl. You ain't had that kitty kid um, wax. So you don't know. It is so... Uh, but anyway, so they do the wax, and what really got me was after she got done waxing, she plucked, like with tweezers, just to make sure. I like that. And then after that, they put this serum on there. I don't know if all of them do it or if she was just being nice, but after that, she put serum on there. It's like for ingrown hair, so you won't have no bumps. It's not razor bumps. It's like those big, nasty bumps, the boil bumps, where the hair is growing inside of your skin and it's not coming out. You don't want to get that, especially down there. Then she'll be ugly. We don't want that. Um, but anyway, she put the serum on there. And it was easy breezy. It honestly wasn't even like a super, super long process. I was in and out. Like I said, the person who did it really just made me feel so comfortable. Um, but with the booty, the booty don't hurt at all. The booty do not hurt at all. You could turn around on all fours if you want. I personally did not. <laughs> but uh, you could turn around on all fours or you could just... Throw them legs back. They'll strip it right on out. Booty did not hurt. A little uncomfortable, but it was fine. Results. <laughs> Your boo's going to love it. I'll just say that. Uh, whoever you messing with, they're going to love it. Now, they tell you, like, don't have sex on the first day or the second day. I had sex on the first day. I was not listening to that. I want to show my kitty cat, like... I want my boo to feel it on the first day. But um, I didn't have any issues from doing that. But I guess stay safe. Listen to the person. I didn't. I'm hard-headed. 
I'm just hard headed. But anyway, your boo is going to love it. Very smooth, like a baby's bottom. It's smoother than when you shave. I don't know why. I think it's the wax, obviously, but it's smoother than when you shave. But I was so happy when I was done because my kitty cat looks so pretty. So I definitely do suggest Brazilian waxes. Um, that's what I got. I got a baz that's what I got. I got a Brazilian wax. So like everything. A Brazilian wax is like the full kitty cat all the way down to the booty, the butt crack, all of that. A bikini is like obviously just the bikini part. But I got a Brazilian. It was only 25 bucks for your first time. But I think it's 50 like after that. Now she did warn me, when you do get waxes, your hair is not going to grow back the same way. There's nothing bad about that, at least not to me, because really I wish it wasn't no her down there at all. But um, maybe a little bit. I don't know. But the next time I think I'm going to go get a design, I want a heart on there. I want a triangle, like the um, strip. I want to do all of that. <laughs> I think they do do it too, she told me. I don't know if they do a heart. I don't know. Anyway, but I want all the designs from now on. But yeah, I don't think I'll be shaving down there ever again. And month later post results is oh yeah, yeah yeah so they was like your hair down there will never grow back the same like some places will grow back and some places actually won't but when it does grow back the hair will typically be a little fine which is completely okay with me so after a month look hair is growing back but not for real like for real it's been a month it ain't even really no hair down there go get your brazilian wax girl Go ahead and do it. Boy, whoever's watching, go ahead and get the Brazilian wax. It's fur. Hell of fur, I suggest it. But um, I'm going to show. I did. The, at first, I did. No, not at first. In general, they said, like, no phones or nothing like that. Girl, please. That's why I did have to cut out a couple of clicks, clips of me actually showing the facility because I could get in trouble for that. Um, but at the same time, my reaction is my reaction. Y'all know if I got it there or not. Well, they don't know if I got it there or not. Um, my word against theirs. But anyway, they did say I could not record, but I did it anyway. Ah, anything for my followers? Because guess what? We just hit 100 followers. We just hit 100 subscribers. I mean, we are outside. We is outside. I'm hella happy about it. Um, what's in the cup? Rum and Minute Maid. Such a magical um, concoction. Let me see what else I want to say about it. I'm really appreciative of the person that did it though because I don't, you know, don't nobody want no stranger down there and they kitty cat like really face to face looking at her, you know. Um, so the woman really, I commend her. She was wonderful. Talked me completely through it. Made me comfortable. My legs were shaking. I was so shaky. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was a really good experience for me. So if you have any more questions about like a Brazilian wax, let me know. Comment down below. What else, um, whatever else you guys want to see me do, if you have any suggestions, um, just put that in the uh, description box below. I mean, put that in the comments and I'll do all of it for y'all. Just let me know. Because I've been working at it. I've got a whole bunch of ideas of stuff I want to do on my channel. But I am really like an overthinker. I'm really like super analytical i overthink everything analyze everything too much and i have watched a lot of youtubers just trying to pick up a couple of tips you know see how they do things blah 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 but at the end of the day trinity is going to be trinity and i'm just going to do what i want to do so i don't have a real name for my followers i'm gonna come up with a name for y'all it's gonna be fur because when I really sit there and think about it, I don't want to call y'all Trinity Gang because I want it to be a little bit more uh, than that, you know? I don't know, like, I don't know. I'm going to come up with it. But when I say it, y'all going to be like, damn, that's hella cute. I'm a part of the Trinity, you know, dot, 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 whatever I come up with. So, yes, that was my first wax. It was perfect. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I want to know your feedback, so just let me know. You could be as real as you could be, but if you're too mean, you'll get blocked. Or your comment might be deleted. Because <laughs> YouTube is vicious. But I love y'all. And we got 100 subscribers, y'all. Really, 100 plus in a month. So we doing good. We outside. 
Um, I love y'all. Positive vibes, zen vibes, and peace. Oh, yeah, don't talk about my nail. I got in a car accident. You'll see that in my other video. Oh, <laughs> let me stop.